Hi guys, today I'm working on um, camera animation using splines. Uh, this is something I've recently come across um, and apparently in 3D games for smooth camera animation, um, Bezier or Catmull ROM splines are used. And I thought it would be quite interesting to use similar techniques in 2D um, as well. So currently we have this level which I generated from this file. Uh, we only have walls and that's about it. The red circle marks the center of viewport or the camera. And if I do the animation now, so which essentially goes um, through these points, which are the waypoints defined um, for the viewport um, right here. Um, the so the first technique is using pure JavaFX um, timeline and keyframes. So as you can see, the circle follows the waypoints. Um, however, it does so using straight lines. So the movement is actually um, the movement of the camera consists of sequence of paths, uh, which are in themselves straight lines. Um, while this is fine, I thought it could be quite interesting if we use the smoother version of paths. So this will now use the same waypoints, however, the whole sequence of straight lines is now smooth um, with a Bezier spline. So as you can see, well, it won't be as smooth um, in the video because I set a limit of 30 frames per second. But generally, you can see that the circle no longer follows the straight lines. It follows path generally, but it goes outside of bounds to create a smoother animation. Um, this could be quite useful for, um, well, let's say, platformers. If you have various keys uh, of or places of interest within the level that you want, you want to show the player before the start of the level. So you could perform an animation um, using your viewport to show these places of interest. Um, could be keys to the next level or power-ups perhaps. So these are essentially the same um, waypoints that we had with the JavaFX technique. So all we need to do is um, create a Bezier spline and using the Bezier spline we then create um, cubic curves which are going to be part of this path which is a JavaFX um, shape node which we can then use to create an animation for an entity that we don't technically add to the world it simply exists um, it is being animated but not shown so you can call it camera if you want to and we use um, the camera position as the center of our viewport and then bind the XY coordinates. So it creates a very nice and smooth animation. And yeah, that's about it um, for this demo. Thanks for watching.